Hey guys and welcome back, this is HD and I'm here to bring you guys a replay of two higher level gamers. This was played in the most recent Zotac Cup and I've decided to cast this game in particular because apparently it was highly referenced by a lot of players that showcased, that this game showcased a lot of interesting micros so I'm definitely going to bring this to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now the players are going to be Drunk Bobby, the Protoss player, spawning at the 12 o'clock position for Lost Temple. And I don't know too much about Drunk Bobby, but his opponent I know plenty about. His opponent is Hydra. And I'm sure if you guys follow the pro StarCraft scene, then you guys know all about Hydra. Hydra is the only true uh, American pro gamer who has dedicated the last couple years of his life living in South Korea, actually on one of the pro gaming teams known as CJ Entis. And he's pretty much practiced for, you know, he's played Brood War for the last couple years, and more recently he's practiced exclusively for StarCraft 2 and he's definitely a very very good player usually favored to win in the majority of tournaments and the one thing about Hydra that he hates the most he hates cheese he is a macro player and he thinks cheese is you know he thinks it's a cowardly move by his opponent he wants to play straight up macro he believes he fanatically believes that that is the way StarCraft 2 is meant to be played as well as StarCraft and so what I've seen from a lot of players is often they'll try to cheese Hydra to kind of throw him off of his game and oftentimes that's how Hydra gets knocked out is when a, an opponent cheeses him so you kind of you can kind of say that Hydra's kryptonite is cheese so we'll see if uh, Drunk Bobby decides to do some kind of an early push, although it doesn't look like it. He's getting a quick gateway as well as a very fast gas, so he's probably going to be going for Cybercore and then getting in some sentries, perhaps. We have seen some great use of sentries by Protoss against Zerg in a lot of games recently. It's also interesting to note that Drunk Bobby has not blocked off his ramp with any of his buildings. Hmm. He, does, he hasn't used the pylon or the gateway or the Cybercore to kind of narrow this ramp, and so the Zerglings are going to be you know, they're going to have a very easy time to just run up this ramp and start harassing these probes, and Hydra knows that. He's got a very fast drone in here, using a drone to scout out right away, so we'll see if he tries to go with some quick links. It also looks like Hydra went for a 15 hatch, and so most likely going for 14 pull, 15 hatch, and he should be getting the gas relatively soon. Queen also on its way, so Hydra playing pretty standard here, and as I said before, Hydra loves to play macro. He believes that StarCraft and StarCraft 2 is meant to be played as a macro game, not as a cheese game. And granted, he has a point that, you know, it takes a lot more skill to play macro-wise, but there's also an argument that says you have to be able to adapt and be able to defend against cheese. I mean, StarCraft, you know, it, do whatever it takes to win, and if it's got to be cheese, then so be it. So we'll see how well Hydra plays this game. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but this was played in the Zotac Cup, the most recent one. And it does look like we're going to have a couple of Zerglings, so Hydra not going to take advantage of the fact that the Protoss player didn't put any buildings here to block the ramp off. Uh, let's see if he's building more Zerglings back at home. No, no more Zerglings, so just more Zerglings. And one Zealot is going to be easily uh, able to dispatch up these four Zerglings. All the Zerglings going down, a Stalker also coming in. And the forces get dispatched very, very quickly. Uh, warp Gate is on the way, the research for Warp Gates. And as soon as Warp Gate gets done, the gateways are going to be able to start pumping out units at a much faster rate. Interesting, we have a Twilight Council up. I didn't catch this. So, uh, it looks like Stalker Blink is going to be researched. This is interesting. We almost never see games where players actually research Blink. I thought we might have seen a quick Templar Archives for DTs, or perhaps even High Templar, or maybe researching uh, Charge, but no, we're seeing Blink. So perhaps we'll see, as I indicated in my Cool Tricks video number two, some kind of a queued shift blink right up this ramp right here. Uh, definitely a possibility. And look at this, we actually have creep tumors being used for Hydra. I know that Hydra is one of those players that really believes in the creep super highway, using that queen to extend the creep. And he even uses that um, in a priority actually above spawn larva. So We'll see what happens. We'll see what Hydra, Hydra tries to do this game. He also has a Roach Warn out, so he's playing pretty standard, going to get Roaches out. And it should be noted that this game was pre-patch 8, so the Roaches still have two armor in this uh, in this replay. And we do have four Stalkers out already. They're going to be able to take advantage of that blink pretty soon as, as soon as this research gets finished and we do have a pretty quick push here coming from Drunk Bobby about four stalkers and there are a couple of roaches but with blink it is going to be researched right now are they going to shift micro up this ramp they do need something to spot 
the uh, the ground above. In order to do that, it doesn't look like they're going to do it though. And with this many roaches and a spine crawler, I don't think the blink is going to be able to make it into the natural and do any damage. Interesting that Idra hasn't gotten this gas in his main either. And here come the stalkers and zealots. I don't know if this is a good move by Drunk Bobby. There's a lot of roaches here, as well as Zerklings blinking back as Drunk Bobby realizes that he's woefully outmatched there. And there's actually a proxy pylon out here. Gonna make it easy for Drunk Bobby to just warp in stalkers as, as many as he wants. Very close to the base here, and he once again tries to get a snipe off on the spine crawler and then blinking back when the roaches come in range. So maybe Drunk Bobby's gonna try to snipe units and continually use that blink. Blinking back the unit that actually has the lowest HP here, you guys can notice. Great micro by Drunk Bobby here. Uh, just blinking back the stalker. One stalker goes down there, so a little bit of mismanagement. But this micro right here could win him the game. Roaches are actually very weak to stalkers because stalkers do do extra bonus damage to roaches. And once again, blinking the stalkers right before they die. Look at the HP on these stalkers. Eight, six, and eight. Oh, those stalkers are so close to dying. Zerglings, however, with speed. These speedlings are definitely the bane to stalkers. And a couple more speedlings could definitely get us around on these stalkers. Here they go. Uh, it's going to take a couple more zerglings than that in order to take down the stalker force and more stalkers. Being warped in, Idra here actually could be in a lot of trouble. Great use of blink by Drunk Bobby is actually might possibly win him this game continually using that blink, abusing one of the best abilities in the game, StarCraft 2. And I think Idra here just got out microed and might just lose this game. And Idra leaves without calling GG. Uh, one thing to note is Idra is one of those players who a lot of people say is a BM player who won't GG and just kind of leaves games. So that's pretty standard for Idra though. So that was a really good game and great use of Blink Micro by Drunk Bobby, really showcasing the micro that's allowable in StarCraft 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game and I'll be casting a couple more games hopefully today and uploading them. So thanks a lot guys. HD signing out.